In today's GTA 6 video, we're going to be taking a look at, in my opinion, the ultimate GTA 6 Vice City map. This is based off the leaks. A lot of this stuff has actually been confirmed based off of those leaks. So this map we're looking at might end up being the closest to the actual map we end up getting. Now, shout out to the creator of this map. My neurons are fried. He actually posted this on Reddit. But he said, made a concept map based on the leaks. He says, only named locations discovered in the leaks are on this map. So let's just look at this map and see how great it actually is. Now, in the full picture here, the only part of this map I think that's a little speculation based are these islands over here on the eastern side on the right. But I actually love what he did here with the Bermuda Triangle. Like, I didn't think about it, but... A Bermuda Triangle parody would be so much fun in a Rockstar game. Like, I couldn't imagine what they could come up with. And I, I'm sure it'd be something hilarious. And maybe they could tie it in with the UFOs and all the aliens, you know, in GTA 5 and GTA Online. But a Bermuda Triangle would be amazing. So I'm actually hoping we get something like it. But of course, we have these other islands. Uh, you know, maybe think of these, like, Cayo Perico-esque islands. What is neat, all of them have, like, a little airstrip. And that's one thing you, you will notice in his version of this map. There's a bunch of airstrips just scattered around. Obviously, there's the big airport. There's a bunch of airstrips, which isn't like the biggest of things, but it does make the world feel bigger. So that's, of course, really cool. But let's just start with the city part. Of course, we have Vice City. Now, again, when we're taking a look at the names of everything on this map, all of this stuff is based off of the leaks. So the North Beaches, the Washington Beach, Vice Beach, Overtown, Little Haiti, Rock Ridge, any of these other places, that's all basically confirmed. Now, as far as the actual city part goes, I mean, this city is pretty massive. We'll take a look in a second here, comparing it to GTA 5's Los Santos. It is slightly bigger than Los Santos, but I think this is actually a pretty accurate estimate as to what we're going to get. We know the game is going to be slightly bigger. We know the map is going to be slightly bigger. But from a couple of the other leaks, we know that the game's not going to be like 10 times bigger. Rockstar want to keep this game sort of a little bit more scaled down and then just they'll progress over the, the years after it releases and they'll add a bunch more stuff. They, they wanted to sort of get rid of the developer crunch. So making the map a little bit more smaller scale like we're going to see fits with those original leaks. It's still bigger than GTA 5's map, but it's not gonna be again, five, 10 times bigger. And that's sort of what we're seeing here in the city. Of course, we have the, the same old stuff from the old OG Vice City. You have the beach part, which should be really cool. Of course, we have these little islands. Hopefully, again, I've said it before, we get the mansion back, we get Tommy's mansion, that'd be cool. If there's a little Easter egg as well, it'd be sick. And as far as the rest of the map, let's just quickly run through it. We'll start at the south here. Of course, we have the Hamlet. I think I've also seen this called Homestead. I'm not really sure which one's the right name. We do know this is gonna be down here. Maybe this is where the air base is. I mean, he has it here. We don't really know where like the military base will be. So maybe down here, down south, this is where it'll be. Of course, this connects to the keys. And I'm sure there'll be some, you know, pretty cool stuff on these islands down here. Now, as we work our way up on this left hand side, we have this giant area, the Grass Rivers, probably based off of the Everglades. This is going to be the nature esque part of the map. This this is going to be like the Mount Chiliad esque part, of course, not with mountains this time with like swampy marshland. Now, in his map, he has a couple of, uh, you know, dirt roads. And that's what these little small lines are. There's a couple of little settlements, if you want to call them that out here. I do want to come back to this area because it is quite a large area where it looks like there's not much, but I actually think it's a good thing. So if you're seeing this map and you're like, wow, there, there's the city, it's cool, but then there's just like this whole giant area where there's almost nothing and you're a little worried, I wouldn't be. But again, we'll touch on that in a second. Let's just quickly continue through this. Uh, above the grasslands or the grass rivers part, that's where we're going to start seeing a couple of those other little smaller towns. We do know there's like the prison here. There's also this racetrack. We also have a couple of these other little smaller towns. This one actually has a marina uh, right there. You can kind of see. Uh, and then we, of course, get to the Port Gellhorn. 
that's up at the top we don't know specifically the size of this town but hopefully it's gonna be almost maybe just like 50 percent of vice city it does not look like based off of the leaks we're gonna be getting two major cities again maybe that's something rocks are want to do after the game comes out as like a dlc but it looks like at launch we're not gonna have anything like two major cities the port gelhorn does seem to be the next largest city it's just definitely not going to be on the scale of Vice City. And recently we learned Port Gellhorn might not even be based off of places like Tampa or Fort Myers or any of those places on the coast. It actually might be based off of places on the Florida Panhandle. I believe a couple of the map makers figured out that a bunch of stuff from the leaks are actually found in Panama City which is a, a location on the Florida Panhandle. So it, it looks like Rockstar might be taking some liberties here with Florida and with how the map is, I guess, put out. But again, we do have Port Gellhorn over here. It does have a decently sized area as far as like the city part of it goes. I mean, it, it extends, you know, pretty decently deep here. You also do have the racetrack, another racetrack, which is found in the game files. And then that's sort of where north of this is where you get into the more mountainous areas. I say mountains, but it, it's just giant hills. You're not going to be seeing anything on the scale of Mount Chiliad. But in a couple of the clips, you actually could see some pretty decently large hills in the background. So that's why we have the dome hills here. We have a couple of mountains. We do know of this Yorktown. That's going to be up at the north. We just don't know what it's based off of, but that's going to be up there. And then that leads us to the whole north, you know, east part of the map. And there's a lot of cool stuff up here as well. Of course, in the middle down, we have Lake Leonida. That's going to be the big lake. Hopefully it has a river that like, hopefully this little river connects. And then it also maybe connects to this just so you have a way to access both sides by boat. You can just cut through instead of going all the way around. And then we have this ambrosia area i'd imagine that's more like grapeseed i mean obviously there's even the farmlands over here one of the cool places that was mentioned by name in the leaks but not really i mean we didn't see anything fairyland we're assuming that's like the disney world of gta 6 so that'll be cool uh there's a couple other places up here a couple other little smaller towns copperhead sundown beach Sarah, which is probably the NASA equivalent. So hopefully we'll see some cool stuff with that. And uh, and then that sort of wraps up the map. So overall, again, this map, we zoom back out to the normal size. I think this is one of the best maps we could get, un you know, until of course we get the original, the official one. This sort of has everything. Now, if you're wondering how it compares to GTA 5's map as far as size, Reddit user Sticky Lizard Studios decided to put a little comparison here. You can see again, it's not double the the size of GTA 5, but it is still significantly larger. And as far as the city goes, the city there's a lot more of it compared to the GTA 5 city. So if you're worried maybe about something like this not having enough, I don't think you should because the one thing you got to remember this game is going to be way more detailed. And what I mean by that, there are going to be so many more interiors you could actually go into. One of the problems with the Los Santos map down here, you just couldn't go into like any building and it made the city feel a lot smaller. But there was a bunch of sequences in those leaked videos where you could go into so many different types of, of buildings and stores in the vice city map so while the map itself might not be as big as maybe people want i think it's actually going to feel much bigger because there'll be a lot more smaller details that weren't included in gta 5 like entering different buildings like i mean one of the small details you could get a gumball from a gumball machine if, if that doesn't tell you the level of detail rockstar's going with this game i don't know what else will and then the final iteration of this map, this one I think was made by Reddit user Stu. He actually sort of put Google Maps on top of it to get a better idea of like what it actually will look like from above. And I think this is actually such a cool concept idea. It gives us such a great look as far as what we should expect from this map. Of course, you can see the GTA 5 map. It was more dry, not as green, just because of course that's 
That's how like California is. Florida, the complete opposite. You're not gonna be getting any deserts in this map. And now taking a look at this version of the map, I, I wanted to talk more about the, the grass rivers down here, this whole part of the map, mainly because I've seen some people sort of get a little concerned that it's gonna be like GTA Online again, where most people just stay down in the city and then they just never go up here because there's just nothing to do up there. That very well could happen again if we do get something like this where it's just the giant city part and then there's just like nothing, you know, in this part of the map. Very well could happen again. Although you have to remember, this is coming after Red Dead Redemption 2. All Rockstar needs to do is take all that stuff they did with Red Dead Redemption 2 and all the animals and the nature and the wildlife, put that in this game. Could you imagine you're down here in the Grass Rivers part and you have to deal with like the alligators and all those different animals down there. You know, there could be so many cool activities down here that you just don't get in the city. You know, obviously hunting. That's something they never really did. They kind of did it in GTA 5, but if they just took it a step further and obviously even implemented it into the GTA line, imagine going down here on those hover boats, on those air boats that was in the leaked videos, just hunting. That would be so much fun, especially in online if you're doing it with friends. Also, imagine if you could feed freaking people to the alligators. Come on, that would be awesome. The amount of events and activities that could be down here, and that more than likely will be down here, I think is gonna make this area much different to like the, the nature, the wild areas of GTA 5. So now I wanna end this video by just posing the question, does this sort of map, is this what you want in GTA 6? First off, it's it's almost what we're getting. I mean, again, most of this stuff is based from those leaked videos, which is all but confirmed. So a lot of this stuff is what we're already getting. I, I guess the main question is, does the map scale worry anyone? For me, it doesn't. Again, because even if the map size isn't, you know, five times as large as GTA 5, I think the amount of events, activities, small details, enterable buildings, all of that, will make the world feel a lot bigger. And if we do go back to the uh, original part, if Rockstar do have these smaller islands out here, just a, you know, out in the ocean, that's another thing that'll make the, the map feel a lot bigger, especially if there's a decent gap, you know, between trying to fly to them. If it does take, you know, a couple of minutes of flight time, that's the sort of stuff that makes the game world feel bigger than it maybe actually is. So for me, if this is, you know, almost what we're going to be getting with Vice City in GTA 6, I am all for it. I cannot wait. Mainly because this gives us almost everything. It gives you the nature part, the, the marshland part down in the south. It gives you the giant city. It gives you these islands over here in the ocean. It gives you a kind of mountainous area, a little, not maybe not mountainous, maybe a hilly area up at the top just to break up the geography. And then it does give you these smaller towns, you know, scattered around the map. And then there is the, the lake in the middle. So it gives you kind of everything I think, you know, you would need in a GTA map. So that is why I am saying this is the ultimate GTA 6 map based off of those leaks. Let us know in the comments what you guys think. More than likely, we're not gonna get the official map for another two years. I mean, that, that's one of the last things that they show. So unless it gets leaked, I don't think we're gonna get it for a while. And this is the best we're gonna get. But anyway, that's gonna do it for the video. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.